It's, it's, it's fine spelling. Is it? but in the secondly, form. secondly, there has been a bit of a miscommunication with, with this particular talk. Um, I was let down by my slide provider. The idea was that I was going to come up here and do a blind talk to four or five random slides and just sprout rubbish at you. Um, but unfortunately, I have nothing. So that's what this talk is actually going to be about. It is, it is nothing. Um, and I did ask for a blank slide, but I've got a little question mark there, which is, it harks back to the previous talk, which is useful because actually, even though this should be nothing, it, it is in fact something. Because it turns out you can't, you can't really have nothing. Um, you know, I, ideally nothing. I'd give you no information, but you're going to walk away with information. may not be useful information, may not be good information, but you are walking away with information. So um, let's, let's talk about nothing. What is, what is nothing? I mean, nothing doesn't exist in this universe. There's always, there's always something. I mean, physicists talk about these tiny little dimensions that are curled up all over the place, and we've got particles flying all over the place and various other things happening. And even at the very, 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 very end of the universe, when we hit the heat death, there's still going to be something. There's still stuff. Um, so let's go to the other end. Let's go for before the Big Bang. Maybe then there was nothing, but we don't know. Physics can't tell us. Science can't tell us. Um, and then out of this, well, let's assume, let's assume it was nothing. Um, something appeared. So it seems that to have something, we need nothing. But we can't have nothing. Because everything is, 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 is it hurts. It really does hurt my brain to think about this stuff. So, we have nothing. And you start looking at the dictionary definitions of nothing, and it tells you that the, 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 it, it's derived from no thing. There's, there's no, uh, the, 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 there's no um, thing or object there. And you're like, okay, well, what, what, are we, what are we discussing here with nothing? Like, I open a kitchen cupboard and I say, there is nothing. There's nothing in my cupboard. What I mean is there's no food or there's no crockery or there's no... The, there's loads of stuff in that cupboard. There are billions and billions of molecules in that cupboard. There's, there's lots of stuff. So why am I saying nothing? People ask you, what are you thinking? Nothing. Now, arguably with some people, that may be true. But um, <laughs> generally, there's, there's, something, there's something going on. And even if you really are thinking about nothing, your autonomic nervous system is doing, it's doing something. So there's no nothing there either. And we look at some of our code. I'm like, what does this code do? Well, it does something. Even code that does nothing does something. Typically, it blows up rockets, but that's an entirely different talk. They put some code in. They said this code does nothing. They didn't test it properly. And they launched the thing, and it went bang. Good job if you can get it. So... What kind of conclusion do I have for you? Nothing. That's, that's what I have for you. I have absolutely nothing. Um, which makes this, I mean, synonymous with most of my talks, to be honest. Um, <laughs> they're just better dressed up with pictures in the background. Give your eyes something to, to, to look at. And yet, I feel that I have provided something. I mean, there has been a little bit of laughter. The camera never picks up the laughter. For the audience at home, people have been laughing hysterically. It's been great. <laughs> Go. Um, so my talk on nothing has yielded something, including a very, very sexy ding. Ding. I like that. And now I have to decide, what is it that Peter's going to do to me? <laughs> In 45 seconds. Because there, there is a code of conduct. <laughs> and if you've been to some of my other talks, you will know I am disabled. So what is it you can do to me to get me off this stage? <laughs> Unfortunately, we've got a bunch of sound engineers back there who could turn the microphone off uh, remotely. And then all you will hear is nothing. Which is all I have for you. Thank you very much.